I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. Morgan Stanley analysts remain positive on the shares of GSI Commerce based on a positive free cash flow inflection and positive fundamental inflection drive by competitive position. Analysts wrote, quote, net revenue and adjusted EBITDA of $264 million. That's up 41% year over year and down 3% quarter over quarter. $11.8 million came in below our $270 million, $13.6 million estimate, but in line with consensus, $265 million, $12.9 million, and above the company's $260 million, $10 million guidance. Management highlighted that it increased investment in technology to expand its addressable audience. Previously, the company offered bundles of its technology, but now plans to sell some of its e-commerce solutions on an individual basis in hopes of attracting a growing number of clients. In addition, GSI invested and in recently acquired businesses, Rue La La, VendorNet, Fetchback, and opportunities such as mobile to enhance its future offering. Morgan Stanley maintained its overweight rating on the stock. The bank sees a fiscal 2010 loss for 26 cents per share and fiscal 2011 EPS of 46 cents. I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. For more news, market analysis, and analyst insight, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. That's Trade the Trend. Also visit our website, tradethetrend.com, for more headlines.